Thank you. I first met uh, Cal Rote uh, back when I was in <clears throat> high school in Marshall, Texas. Cal was a, a young person, a little bit younger than myself, and I looked out the window in my study hall class and I saw this young kid out there throwing passes and kicking the football. And a lot of young students out watching this young man. I thought to myself at first, this is amazing. <clears throat> I said, where, where is he from? He said, well, he's from San Antonio, Texas, and he's up here visiting an aunt. And I was, that relieved me, because I was scared to death that this kid was coming to Marshall, because <laughs> Wiley Tittle wouldn't be a star there anymore. <laughs> but I did follow his career while he was in high school. He was at Thomas Jefferson, Jeff Davis High School in San Antonio, and then also at SMU, where he became an All-American. Uh, I had a special interest in him because of that one incident in Marshall. In Marshall. Uh, following his career <clears throat> to the New York Giants, I played against Kyle when I was uh, with San Francisco. And he was always a great football star, always a great football star. But I really didn't know him that well until I came to New York in 1961. <clears throat> he was a player and a player coach. Uh, and then I realized what Kyle wrote was really about. He was so good to all of us new players. We had, <clears throat> we had so many new players that Ali Sherman had brought to the New York Giants in 1961. Myself, um, uh, Joe Walton, a tight end, who became a star and a coach at the Jets. Um, Dale Schaffner, who could run faster than the wind. He was a split end. He brought him in from the Los Angeles Rams. We had lots of new players. E. Rich Barnes came to New York in 1962. Um, that's, Hugh McElhinney came in 62 or 3, I forget. A lot of new players. And, and you know, in New York, uh, uh, coming here is a wonderful place. Uh, this is the hub of everything, the media capital of the world. But to be in New York and to not have friends can be the loneliest place in the world. Uh, if you're a loser, you'll really be lonely. <laughs> but we were not losing. But really and truly, Kyle Rote uh, was a different person to me. He was not Kyle Rote, the football player, the great high school athlete that I had seen play or remembered when he was in grammar school. He was really a good friend. He, was a, he played as a player. He coached as a coach. It, the Giants had player coaches at, in those years. <clears throat> And Kyle made everything um, just perfect for new players. I came in without an automobile. My wife was still in California. Uh, we didn't know whether I was going to make the team or what was going to happen. Uh, but um, he helped me. He introduced me to some car dealer, and I got a new car, to, a loaner car. He helped me get a house. He introduced me to a real estate agent that got me a house up in White Plains. Uh, he was just wonderful, not just with me, but with all players that came in here. He seemed to take a, 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 a something that not many people knew that was going on with the New York Giants. He was truly a good friend to all his teammates and to all the new players that came here. Um, I think I'll just end this by saying, Wellington Mayor said something nice about me that I never forgot, was when I was introduced into the Hall of Fame in <clears throat> Canton, Ohio, he said that uh, Y.A. Tittle loved New York, and New York loved Y.A. Tittle. That was a great saying, and I always remember that. I'm going to repeat it again. Uh, New York loved Kyle Rote. Kyle Rote loved New York. And Kyle Rote loved, I think, everyone he ever met. Thank you.